How do you draw a tangent or a normal to a parabola? Hello everyone and welcome to PE Academy and welcome to this uh, part 3 of this video under parabola. So if you miss the part 1 and the part 2, so in the part 1 we looked at how to draw a parabola and then in the part 2 we looked at how to find the focus which is this point and the directrix of a parabola. And now in this part 3 like I said we are going to be looking at how to draw a tangent or a normal to a parabola from a given point on the curve. So now that we already have our parabola, which is this curve, so let's pick the point where we want to have our tangent. So let's say I'm picking, uh, let me just pick this point. That's okay, this is where we want to have our tangent. So let me call that point, um, so let's call it point Y. Point Y. So what we are going to do is, we are going to draw a line from point Y to point F, which is the focus. So, we already have that, that line. So, what we are going to do is, that in, uh, is to extend this line from F to Y. We are going to draw it out like this. So, that's why um, if you have been following this from the part 1, if you remember that in the part 1, what we expected to do in the part 2 was to do the tangent. But I said we had to first of all find the focus because we have to draw a line from this point where we want our tangents to the focus. So, it's important for us to know uh, the focus of the parabola. So now, the next thing you have to do after drawing the line from the point to F, make sure the line you extend it out. So let's call this extension outside, let's call it point Z. Another thing to do is to draw a line from point Y straight to this line AB. So the line will also be parallel, the, parallel to this line FO. So let's do that. So make sure your line is parallel. So now let's call where it is touching this line FO, I mean line AB. So let's call it um, point X, point X. Now if you look at it closely, this X, Y, Z is forming an angle. This is this angle. It's forming an angle. So what we are going to do next is to bisect the angle. So in doing that, we are going to bring our compass. So at any convenient length, so you adjust it to any convenient length. So you are going to bisect an angle. So what you are going to apply is just the principle of bisecting an angle. So if you don't know how to bisect an angle, you can check our playlist on technical and engineering drawing. There you find videos there that explain how to bisect an angle. So but in doing that, once you draw this arc like this, to touch this line XY and line YZ, so you can then decide to increase it or use the same length. So you place it where it is touching this line YZ. You draw an arc with the same length you come to this point you draw an arc now their point of intersection this is it so what you are going to do next is to draw a line from this point of intersection to pass through point y which is the point where we are asked to draw our tangent So this line that I'm just drawing now represents the tangent. So let me write it on it. So this is the tangent. Now we've got that tangent. So this, if, this is how you are going to do it when you are asked to draw a tangent to a parabola. Now that is for tangent. What if you want to now draw a normal? A normal. And don't forget, a normal is always at 90 degrees to a tangent. You know, they are always perpendicular. A normal and a tangent, they are always perpendicular. So in order, in order for us to get the the normal, we are going to draw a line that is perpendicular to the tangent from this same point Y. So in doing this, we are going to bring back our compass. So on the, on the tangent now, we are going to draw a semicircle on the tangent so that we can get the normal. So with the same length, where it is touching the tangent, I'll draw an arc to touch the semicircle here, yeah. and then on the other side, I'll also draw an arc to touch the circle. So with the same length, I'll go to where the arc is touching the semicircle. I'll draw an arc, and I'll also draw an arc. So they are points of intersection. 
I will join it to Y. So this line that I've just drawn represents the normal, which is at 90 degrees to the tangent. So this is how you draw a tangent and a normal to a, uh, to a parabola. So this is the part 3. And also there's going to be a part 4 uh, for this video series under parabola. So in that part 4, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a parabola when you are given the directories and the focus. Remember when we are drawing this parabola, if you watch the part 1, what we are only given is, is the span and the height. But what if you are given your focus and your directories? You are just given those, only those two values and you are asked to draw your parabola. How do you go about it? So that's what I'm going to be talking about in part 4. So if you have been following this video along, if you find value in this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or any comments, do leave them uh, in the comment section below. I'm also going to leave the link to the part 1, part 2 and also the part 4. Uh, in case you miss them, I'm going to leave the links in the description of this video. And also links to videos like how to draw uh, a cycloid, a cycloid, how to draw hyperbola, helix, you know, and how to draw the attendance. I'm going to leave all those important links in the description of this video. And if you are here to subscribe to this channel, PA Academy, please, please take out time to click on the subscribe button. It's absolutely free uh, to subscribe. Also check out our website, paacademy.co, paacademy.co. So with that, I'll see you all in the part four, which will be coming up uh, immediately after this video. Somewhere here, you want to click on it to take you to the part four, which will show you how to draw a parabola when you are given the directrix and the focus. Thank you very much.